Furloughed federal employees were paid today, but the next pay cycle in two weeks could be impacted. And Jameson, those paycheck impacts, impacts we're talking about include hundreds of Coast Guard members right here in Florida. Yeah, they do, Isabel. They're still having to work but aren't getting paid. Our Carson Chambers is in St. Pete tonight to explain why that is. The Coast Guard is the only military branch under the Department of Homeland Security. The rest are under the Department of Defense, which is still being funded during the shutdown. When we bring people in and they've had a good day, they pay us when the day's over. Fishing Captain Jay Plastic counts on his paycheck after a day's hard work. You can't wait until somebody gets home. That's that's not that doesn't work that way. He feels for U.S. Coast Guard members who are doing their jobs without pay right now. We need them out there on the water, patrolling waters. And they will be. Monday is supposed to be the next paycheck for nearly 42,000 Coast Guard members. But for now, paychecks are on hold until the partial government shutdown is resolved. Those guys are out there doing their job in rough seas and they get called upon when boats go down and people are stranded. They, they're the first ones that get called to, to go save people and rescue people. So definitely uh, unfair. A standoff over border wall money between President Trump and congressional Democrats prompted the shutdown. Salaries will eventually be paid once a resolution is passed. I don't know too much about politics, um, but it's not fair. To me, it's not fair at all. The partial shutdown began Monday, and so far, 6,000 Coast Guard have been furloughed. Can't do your job if you're not getting paid. In St. Pete, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.